my 2004 Mustang V6 is moving out of Cam C and into Cam T. In part one of my Cam T diet series, I took 22 and a half pounds out of my Mustang ST by installing MAF Racing front and rear bumper supports. But I still need to take more weight out to get closer to the 3,000 pound minimum weight in Cam T. This video covers the weight reduction mods I'm making to the interior. The SCCA Classic American Muscle rules require your interior to have a finished look. They don't want cars to have race car interiors. If you're building a car to compete in CAM, it's a good idea to get familiar with all of the SCCA rules that pertain to interior mods. Everything I'm doing in this video is legal in CAM, but in some cases that I will highlight, I'm intentionally not going as far as the rules allow. I've already swapped in some lighter Corbo Forza seats and brackets and installed a homemade rear seat delete. The SCCA CAM rules state that rear seating may be removed or modified. If removed, the seat bottom area must be finished. So I could have made a rear seat delete that only covers the lower section. Because I didn't want a gaping hole leading into the trunk, I chose to cover the entire rear seat area. Those mods help me shed a lot of weight, but there are more things I can do to slim my stallion down. The part screaming the loudest to be removed is the Mach 460 stereo system. The biggest piece of the Mach 460 is the rear speaker box. It's mounted under the package tray, includes two amps, and it weighs 21 pounds. All of that weight is above the belt line of the car where I don't want it. This is probably a good time to talk about wires. Managing wires is important when you're doing a radio delete. You will end up with a lot of plugs that aren't connected anymore. I put a little dielectric grease into the connectors, cover them with electrical tape, and wrap them in a balloon to make sure they don't get corroded over time. I also tie them down to adjacent wires to keep them from flopping around. I chose to install a non Mach 460 package tray for a cleaner look. I got it from LKQ for about $20. In order to remove the Mach 460 rear speaker box, you have to remove the package tray. The package tray can be fragile, so I chose to remove both side interior trim panels to make removing the package tray easier. Having a set of interior trim removal tools helps. Removing the side interior trim panels also allows you to reroute the wires for the speaker box and tie them down. I put cardboard boxes in the trunk to catch the speaker box because the screws holding it in place are inside the car. Having an extra set of hands around when doing this would be ideal. There are speakers and speaker mounts in the doors. I weighed these lighter parts on a kitchen scale. I'm going to use ounces, but I'll convert the total to pounds at the end of each section. Removing both door speakers and mounts took 80 ounces out of my V6. You will have to remove the door panels to access the door speakers. The speakers attach to the speaker mounts with screws, but you'll have to drill out two rivets to remove the speaker mounts from the door. Make sure the connectors are covered and the wires are tied up out of the way. Use vapor barrier to cover the hole left behind after you remove the speakers and speaker mounts to help prevent moisture from getting into the car. I got some vapor barrier from another SN95 Mustang at LKQ. Together, the Mach 460 tweeters weigh 10.75 ounces. You have to remove the speaker cover to get access to the tweeter screws. And you have to separate the tweeter surround to remove the plug. I had hoped to use trim panels from a non Mach 460 Mustang, 
but cars with a Mach 460 stereo system have different door panels shaped to fit around the tweeter surround. I put some vapor barrier over the hole left when I removed the tweeter and reinstalled the now empty surrounds and covers. My shorty antenna, antenna base, and wiring weigh 7.25 ounces. This antenna delete from Daniel Carpenter Reproductions weighs 0.125 ounces. Deleting the antenna, base, and wires saved 7.125 ounces. Pop the antenna base cover off to reveal the screws that hold the base in place. The antenna wire is two pieces. One is held in with push pins behind the glove compartment. The radio head unit weighs 80 ounces. Removing it leaves behind a lot of wires with connectors and a big hole. I used some foam pipe insulation and some zip ties to make sure the wires stay in place because I don't want to be distracted by the sound of things bouncing around behind the dash while I'm out on course. With the head unit out, I need to cover the hideous hole in the dash. There are some radio delete panels on the market, but when I researched them, I wasn't happy with how they mounted. I didn't want exposed screws or something that looked like it was an afterthought, or even worse, something that might fall off during an autocross run. So I got a sheet of 1 8 inch thick textured ABS plastic, put together a template, and made my own radio delete panel that uses the factory radio mounting screws. With the center dash radio bezel in place, my homemade radio delete panel looks like it belongs in the car. My radio delete panel only weighs 2.625 ounces. Removing the radio head unit saved me a total of 77.375 ounces. Deleting the rear speaker box, door speakers, tweeters, antenna, and radio head unit saved a total of 511.25 ounces, or 31.95 pounds. All in all, removing the Mach 460 stereo system took three hours. Making the radio delete panel got me thinking about other deletes I could make for the interior. Cam rules allow for the headliner to be removed. Even though I only use this car for autocross, I want to keep the headliner in place. But there are some things attached to the headliner that can go. I don't really need the dome light or the visors. So I made dome light and visor deletes. The process for making deletes is relatively easy. Create a template that defines the outer edge of the delete and the location of the mounting holes. Make a rough cut using a Dremel with a side cutting bit. Smooth out the edges with an abrasive wheel. And finish them off with sandpaper. Finally, drill out the mounting holes. The dome light and visor deletes mount using the OEM hardware. The dome light weighs 7.625 ounces. My homemade delete weighs 2.125 ounces. It saves 5.5 ounces. The two visors weigh 34 ounces. My homemade deletes weigh 0.625 ounces. They save 33.375 ounces. Then I kind of went overboard and decided to delete the half ounce coat hooks. My homemade coat hook deletes weigh 0.125 ounces and save a whopping 0.375 ounces. Combined, the dome light, visor, and coat hook deletes took 39.25 ounces or 2.45 pounds out of the interior. The radio and dome light delete panels took about an hour and a half to make. The visor deletes and coat hook deletes took about 45 minutes. Once you have the deletes made, 
it only takes about 30 minutes to install them all. I removed the child safety seat mounting bracket from under the rear package tray. It weighs 12.25 ounces. Removing the child safety seat bracket takes about 20 minutes. When I deleted the rear seat, I cut the excess off of the rear seat back mounting bracket. The top section has threaded inserts that hold the plastic trim in place. The cut down bracket weighs 48 ounces. I got some aluminum from the hardware store and had Paul at FusionCraft fab me up a bracket that weighs 16 ounces. I added some riv nuts to mount the interior trim just like the factory piece. My custom rear seat trim bracket saved 32 ounces. The rear seat trim bracket took about one hour to fabricate. You could probably make one at home by using rivets instead of having the pieces welded. If you already have a rear seat delete, you can install the rear seat trim bracket in about 10 minutes. There's a piece of metal behind a trim panel under the steering wheel. It weighs 36 ounces. It takes about five minutes to remove. Removing the child safety seat bracket, swapping in the aluminum rear seat trim bracket, and removing the metal under the dash saved a total of 80.25 ounces or 5.02 pounds. The second phase of the CAM-T diet has taken 39.42 pounds off of my V6. Add to that the 22.5 pounds I've already taken out, and my Mustang ST is now 61.92 pounds lighter. The next video in this series will cover the mods I'm making to get weight off the front of the car.